Another question I had was、um, melatonin. I want to learn more about how it can help the skin, not just with sleep, but、um, how you mentioned that it has benefits for the skin as well. Yeah, so main answer I have to that is I have no idea how、uh, or why. There have been two randomized double blind placebo controlled studies, right? So the holy grail of medicine, randomized double blind placebo controlled study must work. It, it's it, lots of things work, even if they don't. Even if a randomized double blind placebo controlled study didn't show they work, but if a randomized double blind placebo controlled study showed that it did work, it does do something. And so there are two of them looking at melatonin in kids with eczema, and really where that came really helpful for me. Was it came out right around the same time that、uh, the first studies came out showing that there might be an association with taking antihistamines、uh, on a long-term basis? So Benadryl,、uh, diphenhydramine, hydroxyzine, doxepin,、uh, that those may be associated with an increased risk of dementia、uh, later in life. So there suddenly became a reason to to try. And, and, and I will also tell you, I never really use those drugs much because. Right. Here's what you always heard dermatologists say: antihistamines don't help with eczema. I just give people the hydroxyzine because it helps them sleep. Right. The correct answer to that is then you're a moron. Right. Because there's a reason. If you go to your primary care doctor and say I'm having trouble sleeping, they do not give you hydroxyzine because it has way more side effects than normal medications to help people sleep. So right.、Uh, I can never remember the generic name of it. Ambien. Uh, many fewer side effects than hydroxyzine. So if I'm going to give you something to help you sleep, I can choose between hydroxyzine, tons of side effects, pretty dangerous drug, or Ambien, many fewer side effects, much safer. I'm going to give you Ambien and not hydroxyzine, right? Or Atarax is the other name for hydroxyzine.、Um, but so when the studies though came out that showed that any of these drugs, Ambien, hydroxyzine, any of them may increase the risk of getting dementia when you're old.、Uh, It became much more important to me. I need to find something else to recommend for people who the eczema is causing sleep problems, and it was right around the same time that the melatonin studies came out. Now, why it it seems to help with the eczema, I do not know. I I can't. I'm all, I'm somebody who's always looking for a story, right? I want I I want some reason to be able to tell the patients here's what's happening, right? The median tan triglycerides in the coconut oil, the acidity of the histidine, the acidity of the you know. I want a story. I don't have a story with melatonin. It's one of those things where studies have shown it works. I don't know why. That's so interesting. My mind is so intrigued as well. Agreed. <laughs>